welcome everyone. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I'm having a pretty darn good one. So, we finally tracked him down. We got lucky. It's out here on, uh, and, it, okay. Ooh, I thought it just spawned there for a second. It's out here on, uh, Dead Island, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, the Dead Island, or Carno Island. It is a level one Dota Rex, because that's what it spawns at, and it's got 666,000 health. Now, we're here to fail. 100%. That is why we're here. That's what's going to happen. There's no chance we're going to win. Uh, I'm going to do this with this guy. This was a 150 perfect pain. Uh, yes, I actually did find him. He is max level. He has been sitting over there just chilling forever. As you can see, he does 1,161 damage. He has a little... Oh, oh man, them, them things in the water tore us up swimming over. 18,000 health, just a little under. He did have a bunch of food in him, but I dumped it all because, you know, one of them things. Eat that. So we can get that health up a little bit. Now, I'm going to be completely with honest, y'all. This guy is going to die. I, I, it sucks, but you know what? For science, to show y'all what's going on, uh, you notice I have nothing on. I, I have nothing with me. We are 100% uh, totally expecting this to go incredibly bad and incredibly quick. Um, give you a little idea. We're doing a thousand, roughly a thousand damage. He's got 666, like, point four thousand health. That's thousands of hits. Like, well, maybe not thousands, but it's it's over. It's around a thousand. Yeah. Now, little advice. I have beat this guy solo. It takes a very well prepared thing, uh, unless you're doing modded, of course. Which you know you got your dinos that do your tons. But no, it's going to take a very well coordinated attack to do this solo. At least five or six gigas that are maxed out with good armor, prepared to lose them, and everything else under the sun. Like you're going to be farming bosses before you're going to be doing this, dude. <laughs> Now, it can be done with a group. If you've got poison wyverns and stuff like, or lightning wyverns and stuff, it's not so bad. Here we go. This, y'all, is not going to last very long. We're going to basically get in, get a roar in, and this is probably going to be about it. We want to avoid the fire at all costs, y'all. It's going to be impossible, though. Trust me. Unless you've got something fast, basically all you can do is take the damage because the fire is where he's going to be hurting you at. Now, if you get him in the water, it's not so bad. But there's things in the water now that are not good. And you can see I'm almost dead for one fire. Yeah. There he goes. He's about to, th about to get toast. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, this is it. Go down fighting. Go down fighting. Man. Run. And we're done. There we go, y'all. Less than five minutes. The Dota Rex wiped out a perfect tame, max level, heavy in the, the, the melee, Giga, doing 1,116 damage. Now, I wanted to do that primarily to show y'all, if you go to do this and you're going to go fight this guy, be ready to lose a lot of dinos. Uh, like I said, if you're not farming bosses, and I mean like, we're talking farming bosses, you're going in, just, just no problem taking them out and collecting what you're wanting, then you're not doing this, dude. Um, I'm sorry, it, it's, it's a fact. Uh, you, you're gonna have to cheat. He's gonna be big, he's gonna be bad, he's gonna stomp on everything you take in there. Unless you just flood him. I mean, it is possible, don't get me wrong. But... You have to you have to do the math on how much damage you can do compared to how much damage he can withstand. Uh or withstand. Um where's my bird at? Because you've got most dinos with default vanilla settings have uh not a lot of health. I mean the Giga had what 18,000? I mean, look, my bird here has only got 4,000. Uh, 
Yeah, no, that's that, it's not going to work. You're not going to take this guy out by normal means. Now we're not going to we're not going to attack. We're just going to go to observe <laughs> because we're going to see how this guy walks around and moves a little bit. Because I don't I, I don't know what to tell y'all. Now, real quick before it it goes away and we lose it, I want to show y'all how to find this guy. Now, this is not 100. percent You see these shooting stars when he first appears. They will be following his direction. As you can see, these are all shooting this way now. Granted, he's getting ready to disappear. So, he's not going to be around for much longer. He, he'll literally disappear at sunrise and it'll say he's gone. So, we need to go ahead and get out here. But, uh, those shooting stars will fall toward him. Um, now, it's not absolute. He will spawn random. He used to spawn only out here. I got really lucky with him spawning out here. I happened to be close to where we were at. And see how did he spawn? Did I miss the message? No, he's still out in the water with my set my body. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, y'all. Look at it. Is it not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? I mean honestly. Now I don't know about taming them. Um I, I've never done it. I've told you can do it. But I, I keep hearing that you can't. And then like that if you do do it, he only lasts for like thirty minutes. I don't know. I, I tried to find out. This is one of those I honestly have no idea, y'all. Uh, I really don't know. Um, I was told it uses cannonballs. It's not worth 30 minutes if you ask me. But that's okay. Again, if you go to fight this dude, you're going to need all kinds of silly stuff, y'all. Like, I don't even... I mean, 4 or 5 gigas maxed out, pumping out the damage mate boosted imprints uh youths the booster damage <laughs> like it's going to be ridiculous now again like i said if you got lightning wyverns you can just kind of cheese him but there we go that is the dodo wyvern the biggest the baddest besides maybe the original uh turkey thing in arc it does not get any more epic than that thing sitting right there Oh, he's so beautiful. I want a whole fleet of them tamed up. Mm, he's so nice. But, there we go. Again, let's look over uh, information so far. Uh, I know, it's going to be a short video, y'all, because, I mean, what can we do? It's a dodo whiff. He's going to kick my butt. I don't have enough dinos to sit here and throw them at him. I mean, that, that's what it boils down to. I mean, you can do it if you've got the dinos. Like, if you've got a fleet of Rexes that you just take to throw at the boss at max level, you know, like... Did y'all see that? That was like a dinosaur floating in the air right there. Huh. Maybe want to go back and get a screenshot of it. That was weird. <laughs> if you have, like, 100, 200 Rexes, you know, you just breed up nonstop. Yeah, you could probably do it. If you can get them all out to where he's going to be at, because he randomly spawns in it, and there it goes. Dun. He has fled with a belly full of Giga and Dragon. Uh, knew it was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, we, there has been, there's been troubles today. <laughs> but that's basically it, y'all. Like, I know, short episode, for fun. Let's go down here. I want to see something real quick. I wanted to test out the helmet situation before we go on a few critters just to have some fun because we didn't do it last time and that is I want to test the let's see where is it I know it's in here is it not in here um, there it is right there I want to test the headlessness on other critters um, because many critters like said monkey can wear oh it doesn't work okay let's try the Jason next uh, you know I actually think the Jason mask and my good helmet may be on one of those bodies floating out in the water yeah it's very possible and my swim trunks. Oh well. <laughs> so no, it doesn't work. I was hoping it would. I was hoping we could put it on uh, 
the Gigantopithecus. And it would go with the hill. I know I have a Gigantopithecus. Oh, no, no, no. I was like, I know I got one. Or is he? There he is. Let's try the headless on him. Yes, you can have your bird hat back in a minute. We want to try. Boo. That sucks. Oh, well. What if the pumpkin does? Let's find out. Really kind of sad that I lost my Jason mask. I'll have to make another one. Uh, let's try the pumpkin. Surely one of them works. The Jason mask would be the cool one. Because, I mean, it is the cool one, you know. Oh, what? Oh my goodness. See, that looks alright. Oh man, yeah, the, the Freddy mask would be good. What does it cost to make a Freddy mask? Or a Jason mask, there we got it. Uh, let's see, no, we're not going to have it because I know there ain't nothing. Yeah, no, I haven't went back and farmed up more pumpkins. Well, I hate to say it, we're going to wrap it up there. Short video. We just wanted to have fun. I just wanted to show you all what it was going to be like to get absolutely owned by the Dota Rex. To give you an idea of what you're going to need to be doing. You're going to need to be able to pump out six or 7,000 points of damage all the time with the max with your dinos and sustain the damage he's dealing. He's not doing a lot, granted, but 666,000, that's the number you got to take down. You got you to remember that. Whatever you're doing, you got to divide it into that for how many times you're going to have to hit the bank. <laughs> it's crazy. It's, it's, an, it's insane. Yeah, we should get one for beating him without a doubt. So I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. If you did, smack that thumbs up button. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you have any questions, just your tips. If you just want to say hi, uh, share as you would so this find it easier. Helps them out. Helps me out. And it's an amazing thing to do. And remember, y'all, stay safe. Have fun. And ARC is life.